Since I wrapped up Rudolph in the last video, let's move on to another Rankin Bass special, Frosty the Snowman. This one debuted in 1969, five years after Rudolph aired, a year after Little Drummer Boy aired, and before Santa Claus is Coming to Town would be released. I think Frosty was a good choice to pick for the month, so let's jump right into the review. The story begins with a narrator, this time a human, begins when kids are out of school and build a snowman who goes by the name Frosty. Then Professor Hickle chases his rabbit Hocus Pocus with his hat. As the hat is blown off by the wind, one of the students puts the hat on Frosty's head and he comes to life. But then the hat gets blown and the professor takes the hat away from the snowman. Later, Hocus switches the hat and brings it back to the children and the hat brings Frosty to life again. Then the temperature rises where Frosty fears he will melt, but he has to get to the North Pole. The children suggest putting him on a train, but first they parade through town where townspeople are shocked to see a walking life snowman. Frosty gets stopped by a traffic cop, but moves along to the station. Unfortunately, they don't have money and they don't get tickets, but Frosty and the girl named Karen secretly board a freight train's car while Professor Hickle followed them. While traveling, Karen is freezing so much in the boxcar, they can't stand long enough. So when the train stops, they travel to a forest and they have a campfire for Karen. Frosty tells Hocus to search for Santa, but waiting at night, Professor Hickle arrives to retrieve the hat, but the two flee and stumble upon a greenhouse where Karen can warm up. But then Hickle shuts them both inside. Hocus finds Santa and leads them to the greenhouse. But Frosty is already melted, which, yes, it's because Frosty is made of snow. Thankfully, Santa opens the door that resembles Frosty. Then, Professor Hinkle intervenes for wanting his hat back, but Santa threatens to never bring him another Christmas present if he can write an apology and maybe a new hat on Christmas. After the decision, Santa brings Frosty back to life, drops Karen off in her house, and takes Frosty to the North Pole. And like the song lyrics, that he will be back again. So yeah, like Rudolph, it's got basic story and characters down. When I was a kid, I did like the idea of a snowman turning real life, or an idea of coming to life. I know when I got older, it does remind me of the show Gargoyles, where the creatures turn to stone by day, and then by night they come to life. Still, I like the idea. As for characters, I can't say which one I like the most. Frosty is likable. Who doesn't like a snowman that can come to life? As for the humans, they're fine. So now let's get to the animation. I know it's not stop motion just like any Rake and Bass specials, but I didn't mind the 2D style of the animation, but the animation holds up pretty well. I don't think it has better colors than How the Grinch Stole Christmas, but at least it looks good. And while it doesn't have multiple songs, the main song is played throughout certain parts. And yeah, the song is iconic. So yeah, this Christmas special is yet another one of the great ones, though it's not as high as Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer because that one is more dev. Frosty the Snowman is a good one to watch, but my advice is to watch Rudolph first and then get to Frosty next. Plus, it is short with only 30 minutes, and like Rudolph, I do remember watching it when I was a kid. Thankfully, TV airings of the special didn't have editing issues, so I had to mention that. Later on, Frosty would have specials, the same way Rudolph had some specials. They even had a special titled Rudolph and Frosty's Christmas in July. Plus, Frosty Returns would air at the same time as Frosty the Snowman, giving it more time to watch back to back. And while Frosty the Snowman is not one of my favorite Christmas specials, it's definitely one of the specials I watched. It's got charm, it's got its message, and yes, it's got that holiday spirit. And now I'm down to two more Christmas specials left. And there are some of the best specials. That is all for Frosty the Snowman review. I'll see you guys for the next Christmas special review.